I'm ordained United Methodist clergy person out of the Iowa Annual Conference, but I live here in Minnesota. Um, currently not serving a church, and that's been the choice of the conference because I'm a gay man. Um, but I continue doing ministry in a variety of other ways. Um, I work for a nonprofit, the Advocates for Human Rights, and I also spend time visiting with people in bars, counseling and visiting and being supportive. I went through seminary without them or myself knowing I was gay. I suspected but didn't want to deal with that. Uh, so I was married, served uh, two separate parishes in Iowa for about five years and then at a point finally said, you know, this is not working for me, this is not who I am as a, a straight man. I'm, real, I'm realizing I, I wasn't just having interests, that I am gay. The conservatives are still very much in power. Um, the lot of, need to remember that the United, realize the United Methodist Church is international. So 40% of our, the delegates there were from outside of the United States, um, which tend to be a bit more conservative. Um, so, you, unfortunately you have a lot of the African and, and some Asian delegates that not comfortable with change. Was there a plurality of American delegates who were supportive of change? If we were just the United States, we would be standing with the, the Episcopalians, the Presbyterians, the Lutherans, United Church of Christ. We'd be, we'd be accepting already. Um, there is very much a plurality within the United States, um, but there's just not, we're, we're working more now with the internationals and helping understand their issues and help them to, un, the delegates to understand what, what are important issues for us. You have, you're a minister, you're a faith minister of faith that rejects you. Why do you stay Methodist? Some days I wonder. Um, this is my church. I'm third generation on both sides of the family uh, of United Methodist. I was raised in this denomination. My education, my, my background has all been here. I've taken breaks where I've sort of stepped back from active level, but at a point again saying, you know, if I'm not here in this, in this work, who is going to be? I mean, I could change. I could change the denominations. I could go to someplace else, but this is, I understand United Methodism in a way that's just, you get it deep down without having to even think about it anymore. I do believe they will be changing. I was really disappointed, of course, with, with General Conference. Um, had felt that if we, if we were able to at least be neutral, we could be still sort of a church on the cutting edge and, and on the forefront of theology. And now it's going to be four or eight years before anything else happens. We're going to be doing, oh yeah, we should join in with that, that movement that's already gone so far. Um, even the military is accepting now. I mean, good grief.